everyone! My name is Mimi and welcome to my home based story. Kung saan lagi tayong nag-share ng mga bagong videos regarding work from home. Kaya kung bago ka sa ating channel, please consider subscribing. For today's video, I will introduce you to the world of micro-freelancing. So, micro-freelancing as the term implies, maliliit siya na task na pwede mong gawin online and you can get paid for it. So, stay with me until the end of this video para ma-share ko sa inyo kung saan kayo pwede mag-post ng mga services or skills nyo na pwede yung pagkakitaan. Hey guys, if you want to take more control over your financial future and invest in financial markets, check out eToro. It is common knowledge that investing in financial markets provides investors with an opportunity to grow their wealth as long as investments are done right. However, not everybody has knowledge on financial markets and trading. eToro is a social trading platform that lets you copy trading practices from different successful traders and investors. They have a copy trader function that lets you automatically copy the trading portfolio of expert traders or popular investors by just a click of a button. Thanks to their easy to navigate and transparent platform, you can check out the trading profile of other traders just like checking their Facebook profile. What's more is that upon signing up for eToro guys, you will get a demo account that has $100,000 virtual currency. That will help you to learn how to invest and try out different investment strategies until you're already confident to trade for real. eToro is the perfect place for us to start our investment journey and earn additional income. Find out how you can get $500 from eToro towards the end of this video. Okay, so let's go back to our topic which is micro freelance. Ito yung magpo-post ka ng certain skill that you're specially good at. It could be making logos, designing cartoons, or halimbawa, creating flyers, creating invitations. So, napakaraming different kinds of skills na pwede niyong isell a service na pwede niyong pagkakitaan. And one platform where you can sell your services like this is Fiverr.com. So, hindi ko alam kung narinig nyo na to guys before. Yung Fiverr.com, it's been around a while. So, I can definitely say that this is legit. If you search YouTube, you will see a lot of services kung saan they either bought the service para try nila or they posted a gig. Kasi gig yung tawag kapag magsisell ka ng service sa kanila and they earn from it. Gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo guys na this is one of the platforms that you can earn part-time income. So flexible hours to na sa inyo kung how you would manage your time, kung gano'n kayo kadalas magpo-post. So, siya si Fiverr.com. Ito yung example ng service na pwede nyong ibenta sa Fiverr. So, si Kuya, nagbenta siya ng logo-making service. Meron siyang different tiers. Meron siyang 400, 300, and 200 price logos. And that's how he actually created his gigs. Maganda tong pagka-create niya ng profile niya and makikita nyo naman dyan and marami rin siyang naging customers. So, ayan. Pag inopen nyo yung app niya and dinownload nyo, makikita nyo dyan yung mga featured gigs and may mga ratings. So, mahalaga dito yung ratings, guys. The higher your rating is, syempre, the more na mas marami kang magiging customers. So, ayan. Marami silang different categories. Hindi lang sa pagde-design to, guys. They also have services in graphic design, digital marketing. Halimbawa, marun magaling kayo mag sa Facebook, maggawa ng ads, creative writing or copywriting. Ayan. Even creating resumes for other people, meron din dyan. Video and animation. Kung magaling kayo mag-edit ng video or gumawa ng mga animations, di ba? Marami na yan ngayon. Business. Halimbawa, mga virtual assistant. Or even lifestyle. Halimbawa, gusto nyo mag-coach. Let's say, you're a fitness instructor and you wanna give tips on coaching. So, pwede-pwede nyo rin yung ibenta sa Fiber. There are actually endless possibilities of different services that you can offer in Fiber. And yung kagandahan ng micro-freelancing is you're not tied to a certain contract. So, kung ano lang yung gusto mong service na ibigay, for micro-freelancing, you can only focus on one task that you like. Pwede kayo kumuha as much client as you can take na kaya ng oras ninyo. Fiverr is available, guys, in 
both computer and mobile phone. Pero if you're gonna be a seller, which means magbebenta ka ng service mo, it's better to do it on desktop. Kasi kailangan mo talaga yan. Um, you cannot set up a seller profile on a mobile device. You need a computer. So, paano nga ba gumawa ng account sa Fiverr, guys? Madali lang. Download nyo lang yung kanilang app. Start it. Ayan, makikita nyo siya dito sa side. Papakita ko. And then, makikita nyo dyan, find a service or become a seller. So, find a service. Sambaw, may kailangan kayong um, ipagawa. Then, that's find service. Meaning, kayo yung magiging client. Um, become a seller. Meaning, kayo yung magiging freelancer. So, pag clinic nyo yung si become a seller, ayan, makikita nyo tong page na sabihin dyan, work your way. Ang price range sa Fiverr, lagi siya nagsistart sa $5. We'll talk about more about the pricing later when we're creating a gig and yung commission fees ni Fiverr. Pero yan, pinakamababa talaga is $5. Ayan. Ito bali yung breakdown, ng paggawa ng ano, magkikreate ka ng gig, you'll deliver your work, and you'll get paid for that work. So, let's just click on continue. Ayan. So, makikita nyo dyan. Sabihin nyo, join Fiverr. Pwede nyo gamitin yung Facebook account nyo. Pwede nyo gamitin yung inyong Gmail or yung inyong Google account. Or pwede nyo rin namang i-sign up whatever email you have. Ayan. So, piliin natin yung continue with Google kasi ito naman talaga yung ginagamit ko parate. Ayan. So, if we wanna be a seller, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo guys kanina. Kailangan daw ilagay natin or mag-create tayo ng seller profile sa desktop. Your seller dashboard will be available once you finish your profile. So, let's just click on got it and then punta na tayo sa ating computer to set up our profile. Okay. So, click lang natin itong become a seller up here and then you can either use your Facebook or Google or any email to sign up and then we can just click on continue. Tapos, create tayo ng username and lagay natin yung email dyan before we click on join. Sa next page, may makikita kayo na tips on how to create your seller profile and how to publish your gig. So, let's just click on continue. And what makes a successful fiber profile? Take your time, bawal daw magmadali. It's great to add relevant professional networks. Kailangan accurate yung professional information na ibibigay nyo and yung skills nyo. Make sure you put your photo and make sure na you verify your ID. Click ulit natin yung continue and then ipapakita nyo dyan sa inyo kung ano yung mga dapat nyo iwasan. Number one, avoid providing misleading information about your identity. Iwasan ding magawa ng duplicate accounts. Tapos, iwasan ding magsolicit and Avoid requesting to take communication and payment outside of Fiverr. Click on continue. Okay, so after those disclaimers, we're ready to create our account. Fill up your personal information with your full name, profile picture, and sa description naman, ilagay nyo dyan yung highlights ng services and skills na ma offer nyo. And then, add languages and click on continue. So, makikita nyo dito sa taas, Four tabs yan, personal info, and then professional info, yung linked accounts nyo, and then the last one, you need to verify your account. Let's fill up the rest of our professional info. For the skills, you can check up to five different skills under one experience category. Add the skills that will be relevant to the service that you will be offering. And then, dito naman sa education, I think this is just optional. Pwede nyo siyang iwan ng blank if it's not applicable to you. Same din with certifications. You can just leave it blank. If you have a personal website, just put it there and then click on continue. On the third tab, all you have to do is just add yung mga social media accounts niyo. That's their way of verifying your account. And then, sa last tab, you need to verify your email and phone number. Click natin yung continue and create your first gig. So, sabi dyan, a minimum completion rate of 65% is required to continue. Try natin mag-add ng number. Okay, so I will add my phone number. And then, may security question dito. Let's click finish and okay. And makikita nyo dyan, just adding the phone number will raise your completion rate to 70%. 
let's just click on finish and then may pop up kayo makikita dyan where you will see take our free course and I highly recommend that you take it unang una because it's free and the second one is marami kayo matututunan and magiging mas effective yung gig ninyo so let's just click on finish and right away it will take you to the create a gig form. Okay, setting up a gig in Fiverr. So, ano ba yung gig? Ito yung tawag nila dun sa um, pagpo-post mo ng service mo. So, like halimbawa, sa Shopee, di ba may mga nakikita kayo dyan ng mga item. So, same lang with Fiverr. Ipo-post nila yung item mo, which is your service. Um, and that's how you create your gig, yung tawag. Medyo mahaba guys, yung process ng pag-create ng gig. So, i-overview ko na lang para sa inyo. Okay, so dito sa taas, makikita nyo, meron 6 tabs dyan. Under overview, lagay nyo lang yung gig title, yung category ng gig nyo, and yung tags para mas madali kayong ma-search. Next is scope and pricing. You can offer three different services, basic, standard, and premium. Pwedeng iba-ibahin nyo rin yung prices and depende sa inyo kung ano yung mga include nyo sa bawat package ninyo. Next is description. Meron kayong 120 characters and may chance to be creative kung paano nyo i-highlight at ipapakita sa mga buyers na dapat nilang i-avail ang inyong service. The fourth tab is requirements. Dito nyo ilalagay ko ano yung mga kailangan ibigay sa inyo nung buyer para makumpleto nyo yung project. And then of course, the fifth tab is gallery. Diyan nyo naman ilalagay yung photos, anything to highlight your service that would reflect dun sa quality na kaya nyo i-provide. When everything is set, we're ready to publish. And makikita nyo yan, sabi dyan, it's alive. You can share it via your social media accounts to promote your service. Those are the steps in creating a gig. So, medyo mahaba siya, guys. But I'm telling you, it's really worth it once you have set it up. Ganun naman talaga, guys. Walang madali sa freelancing, no? Kailangan pag-efforta natin yan para mas marami tayong maging customer or para mas maging effective yung gig natin na mas marami mag-click and mas marami ma-convince na you can really deliver on the service that they are looking for. So, I'm sure all of you are wondering kung paano nga ba ako mababayaran dito sa Fiverr. Okay, so sa Fiverr, meron silang three withdrawal options, which is PayPal, yung meron silang card, and pwede ding bank transfers. Pinakamadali, in my opinion, would be the PayPal one. Kung nasa inyo naman yan, for kanyang preference yan, guys. Bawa, um, your service is creating logo. So, na-deliver nyo na yung logo, lahat ng files sa senyo na kay customer, nagbayad na si customer through Fiverr. And, mag appear na yung balance nyo sa Fiverr account nyo. Makita nyo yun doon sa balance ng seller account nyo. You have to wait 14 days after the order has been marked as complete bago nyo ma-withdraw yung funds nyo sa Fiverr. So, other notes, you can only withdraw once a day and meron silang maximum withdrawal na $5,000 in a day. So, paano mag-withdraw? Punta ka lang sa selling menu and then click on earning. And then, kung meron kang money available sa available for withdrawal area, so, ipipiliin mo lang kung alin yung gusto mong withdrawal option. And then, ayun, pupunta na siya dun sa pinili mong option. So, halimbawa, pinili mo si PayPal. Kailangan, syempre, meron ka ng PayPal account. Ilalagay mo lang yung PayPal email mo and mapaprocess na yung withdrawal. Uh, the minimum withdrawal amount is $1. Walang charge si Fiverr na fee pag mag-withdraw ka from PayPal. Another way of getting paid is yung Fiverr revenue card nila. For bank transfer, click mo lang yung bank transfer. And then, kailangan syempre na set up mo na yung bank transfer mo sa withdrawal options. So, pag bank transfer yung pinili mo, mag email sila sa account mo. And, ikiklik mo yung link to register your bank through Payoneer. So, ayun. Pag ito yung pinili nyo guys na withdrawal option, merong charge na $3 per withdrawal. And pwede ding magkaroon ng additional charges. Like conversion fees and yung bank charges. Ayan. Minsan kasi si bank pag nakaka-receive siya ng pera, ewan ko, 
Pero na experience ko na to, na to before. Meron din silang fees. Ayun. So one thing that you should note, Fiber charges 20% of your earnings. Lahat ng money na may receive nyo through Fiber, they will get 20% of it. So, so medyo mataas siya. Subject pa rin yan sa fees, sa mga conversion, ganyan. So, there you go, guys. Um, hindi ko na ito masyadong papahabain. Um, I really just wanted to share this website for you. So, marami kasi sa akin nagtatanong kung ano pa yung ibang mga website na pwede lang pagtraya ng freelance work or yung mga naghahanap ng part-time. So, this is for all types of freelancers, whether you're a beginner or you're an expert. So, nasa inyo naman yan kung paano yung ipaprice yung inyong services. But ayun nga, I just wanted to share this with you. And sana nakatulong to guys sa inyo para maging avenue rin. Kasi I know some moms out there, you know, stay-at-home moms. Sa bawa, kayo gumawa ng invitation para sa binyag or birthday ng anak nyo. And alam mo yun, feeling nyo, this is something that I can monetize. Or something that I can capitalize on. Then why not, di ba? Pwede nyo siyang ibenta sa Fiverr. Just you know, something extra that I wanted you to know. Pang dagdag income din, guys. So guys, I've been looking into trading for a while now, and I came across eToro, where trading can be easy and fun. On their platform, you can invest in stocks, crypto, or foreign currencies, or even commodities like gold or oil. It's actually a great platform for any type of investor, whether you're a beginner or an expert who's looking to diversify into multiple investments, like including multiple assets, or even share your trading practices and get paid for it. In eToro, you can check out proven successful traders, what products they invested in, their risk profile, portfolio performance, among many other data points, so you can make a well-informed decision. Some of their top popular investors are Oliver Danville, Omar Sosa Afonso, and Lloyd Bazaar. Let's take Oliver Danville. He's one of eToro's top popular investor who has been making steady and consistent returns for the past three years. He uses a low-risk strategy and is currently managing more than 5 million assets. These successful traders have impressive performance and they use different trading strategies to maximize returns for themselves and their copiers. Once you select your popular investor of choice, you can easily replicate their trading practices and start earning. You can download their app in Google Play Store or Apple App Store by just clicking on the link down below in the description box and pin comment. And if you use that link, you will get a $50 referral bonus. Plus, you can also share your referral code with your friends and family to get an additional referral bonus of up to $500. Wow. All you have to do is just make sure that you and your referee have verified your accounts and made the first deposit of $200 each so you can get the $50 reward. Let's begin our trading journey with eToro today. If you want to learn more about work from home, please check our other videos on our channel and please hit the subscribe button para mabookmark nyo tong page na to, hindi na mawala sa YouTube account niyo. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you again on our next video. Bye!